we're going to uh, tie the Frenchie uh, fly design by Lance Egan. And um, we'll start with some olive thread, uh, six odd olive thread, uh, some number 14 TMC 100 barbless hooks. Um, uh, well, we've got some tungsten bead, uh, 764 tungsten bead. Uh, we've got some Coke de Leon uh, tailing material and a uh, little bit of natural uh, pheasant tail, uh, some small copper wire, and uh, some trout ice dub. And you can get this in a dispenser or you can buy the individual packs. Uh, and today we're going to use, in, in here, we're going to use the olive uh, trout ice stuff. Okay, so to get started, we'll take a number 14 hook and put our bead on it. Make sure you put the small end of the bead on the hook first. It's very important. And if you're not using a barbless hook, now would be a good time to mash the barb. Okay, we get this on here. Get this in our vise. And we'll get our olive thread. We just want to tie this on just kind of naturally covering the whole hook. Um, I'm not too worried right now about holding that bead to the front. We will do that as we add more material. Clip that off, wrap that a couple more times. Grab our uh, Coke de Leon. And you want about uh, oh, four or five tail fibers. And get those lined up. And you want them to be oh, somewhere around the length of the shank of the, uh, the hook. So I just put that on there, get about the right length, and then just do a pinch wrap up on top, get that tied down, wrap it a couple times, and then before you clinch down on that, gives you a chance to kind of get those fibers up on top, kind of check your length, and then you can begin to wrap your tail. Let's kind of wrap that going forward. And I try to leave that on there. It kind of helps build up the fly uh, instead of cutting that off. All right, we'll take that back to the back and then we'll tie on a small piece of copper wire now you can push this copper wire into the bead to kind of hold your bead to the front of the fly wrap that in real good Okay, take your thread back to the back of the fly. And now you want to take about eight or ten pheasant tail fibers. And if you make sure that you pull all of the tips together, then you can pull those off, or I like to cut them off, like so. And then always make sure you cut your tips off because they're brittle. So just cut your tips off and then tie it in by the tips. Make sure you keep those aligned.
and wrap those towards the front. Tie all that in really well. And if you saw Bill's tape, uh, Bill tied uh, some flies one night at the time club and he had this neat little gadget that you could go to Radio Shack and buy really holds your hackle good I think you get two of those for three dollars uh, so it's it's really a nice cheap hackle plier but uh, clip that on your uh, pheasant tail I'm just trying to get all the tails in that hook. That's all I'm doing here. And then very carefully avoiding your, your sharp hook, wrap that and it's kind of coming apart here but we'll see. Looks like I've lost one. I'll have to see if I can finish this. I like to wrap that about three times. And then I also like to wrap it towards the front. That way I've tied that material in really well. And then I'm going to clip this off. Okay, finish wrapping this here. All right, then I want to take my copper wire and I want to counter rib the copper wire again at a 45 degree angle. And I would put uh, six or seven turns. When you get it up to the front, if you wrap it one time around the head, that helps hold your copper wire. Wrap it three times, three or four times, both sides, and then helicopter that off. A couple little stragglies here. Get rid of those. Okay, now we're ready for some ice stub. So we're going to use the olive ice stub, and you just need a very little bit. This may be too much. Pull some of that out of there. Just a very little bit of ice stub. We'll wrap that tightly on your thread. Make a couple wraps. Okay, now you're ready to finish your fly. Just take your whip finisher. Do this four or five times. Um, if you do this in the front, I like to do this twice. It's kind of hard to see with these magnifying glasses I've got on. But when I fished this fly on a recent trip to Arkansas, I tied them just like this and caught a little over 20 fish in about 16 or 17 hours, I think we figured. Now, at this point, you could also use a fluorescent thread and, and make a hot spot. So if we wanted to do that, uh, I've got some orange here, orange thread, and we'll put just a little bit of a hot spot on here. Just put this right in front. You don't need a whole lot. Okay. 
Now you can tie this off and then finish your fly with your whip finisher. Now you kind of got a green hot spot or an orange hot spot. My apologies for that. You could use purple thread or green, anything that would make it make the attention for that fly. I got a little piece here hanging up. And there we go. A Lance Egan Frenchie. 